what is up fam it's another video diy video uh we're doing next it's gonna be on a nissan pickup a 93 nissan pickup or d21 for the guys that love these pickups but today's video is gonna be replacing the rear shocks so the front of the vehicle uh will also have these kybs uh the rear of the pickup it already has Gabriel Ultras. As you can see, it's still fairly new. Uh, we're gonna replace that because we're gonna ride more. So we wanna ride a little bit more stiffer. So these are a bit bouncy. Feels weird on the road. So obviously we're gonna replace uh, both of them. So all I did was upgraded. These were under warranty. So we're just gonna ride a bit more stiff on the uh, on just the whole vehicle. It's gonna feel a lot better. I didn't like how I was kept bouncing up and down everywhere these are pretty simple to do doesn't really take a lot of tools to do you just need something to lift that uh, diff push that up uh, but I'll show you the process it's not that hard you can finish it real quick so now we're gonna use some type of jack to kind of lift up on the diff uh, you can use any type of jack that would lift I don't recommend using those scissor jacks uh, Especially on that type of weight in the middle too if you might fall on you so use one of these jacks. I do have one of these uh, Axle jacks or Transmission jacks you could use uh, to see how it's kind of flat there So we'll be using this to kind of it on. So It's a bit of an angle now you could use the axle part of the differential uh, but I won't recommend it you could use one of the other jacks to kind of lift from there but what you could do is you could push up from the shock itself as it goes up as it goes up then you might want to add like a jack stand right under it right there but let's go back to doing that another way to lift it would be grab that jack you lift from that end we're just doing one side so you kind of drop the tire down a little bit but you lift up that's gonna i guess expand not expand or move away the chassis from the diff and that moves the entire shock so the shock is fully expanded which makes it easier for you to kind of just unbolt right there you know um But that's where I mentioned where you're gonna have to add your uh, one of these jack stands to hold on that axle because once you remove that bottom bolt, it's kind of it's gonna come down. Remember that this is holding that to the chassis of the vehicle. So either you use a jack stand, put that jack stand right there from that axle right here, the diff to the floor, or you use that other uh, jack that I had for like differentials, axles, and transmission, and you would add that in the bottom there so the axle doesn't kind of Fall, fall on you so they're pretty simple let's show you so let me show you instead of just telling you let me show you. we're gonna grab our jack stand like I said we could add it either kind of there in the bottom hold it off or you could add that over there right next to that next to the frame of the vehicle you add that jack stand there uh, because of the height it's expanding the uh, the rear shock and from there you bring that jack and just kind of leave it there for like leverage under the under the diff you want to make sure it's it's stiff when you kind of lift you don't lift it all the way up because then that's gonna uh, kind of uh, it, it's gonna compress the shock a little bit and you don't want that you want it to fully expand so it's easy to pull off so that way when you remove that uh, uh that nut uh, that's holding on to the to the rear of the shock at the bottom you're just going to slide out pretty simple so let's do that so we're going to add the stand there I drop it see how that tire is just barely lifted off the ground stands over there now once you remove that bolt remember it's going to come down a little bit so you just don't want that surprise Let's just add that jack stand, I mean the jack, right under the uh, dip. 
All right, so that's right under the diff. It's nice and pressed on there. You don't want to lift it too much. So now we're going to start releasing. We're going to do that un undo that bolt. All right, see that? That's snugged on there. That's really the diff's not going to fall because of that that uh that jack that we have. We have that stand over there. This is expanded all the way. Pretty simple. We're just going to loosen that up. Try to use protective eyewear when you can when you're under the vehicle. There's a lot of dirt and debris that might fall in your eye. You don't want that. Sometimes it might be stuff that actually might make damage in the long run. So just put these on. So there's a size 17 uh, millimeter socket to loosen that up. Just go slowly. There you go. Loosen that up. So you see that? That's pretty much coming off. Uh, that's already loose. So from there you can just kind of tap it and it'll come out. Obviously you want to get the top one a little bit loose. Just loosen it both until they're both loosely just kind of moving around. So same thing with the top. Go ahead and grab your ratchet. And we're going to start to loosen away. There you go. So now they're both off and then just go ahead and uh, try to smack it off or move it out the way. So I used a, a mallet to kind of just smack it from here, had an angle, boom, 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 smack it, you see, and it just falls down, pretty much simple, see, and all I got to do is just slide from right there in the see, It's not so hard guys, don't be afraid. You know, just like I said, safety first, keep one on the chassis, deal under the diff, and it's not going to give you a big surprise you see these uh these gables are actually still pretty new uh so yeah we're gonna return these had these under warranty and i just upgraded to these uh, kybs so you start with the first side of the top go ahead and try to slide that in wiggle that in the bottom one you're gonna press it in with your arm or if, you're, if it's too stiff uh go ahead and use the jack just kind of lift it and then slide it in. Don't worry, you're not gonna get hurt. So, if you need a better uh, angle to kind of just bring it in, because you have this opening here between the the the, the bed of the vehicle and the tire, you see this gap right here. You just pull that towards you, and that's gonna just kind of slide that right in. So, if you see that, that's almost going in. That's almost going in. Let's just finish the job. Okay, so we're going to hand thread first, top, the bottom, and top to where we can get. You got to make sure, remember, it sits flush. These ends have like these two bushings. Make sure this is flat to that chassis of the vehicle. Same as on top. So from there, after your, it's hand tight all the way, go ahead and start your uh, process of tightening down. Uh, with your ratchet. Whoops. Hey, then that's it. Pretty easy. Once you did the top one, you did the bottom one, that's it. Remove the jack, remove this from the diff, and you're good to go. Your new KYB is installed. And just the same process on the other side, and you're good to go. And you're going to be KYBs all around. Uh, start on the rain. Not making it easy for me. It's all right. I still work under the rain. That's never stopped anybody from working. Windshield needs it though. A lot of bird poop. And same process on the other side. The, the jack right under the diff. The stand over there at the front of the vehicle. This one's a little bit more easier here in the front. There you go, just start bolting off, put it back on, that's it. As long as you have this, you're secure, nothing's gonna fall on you. So you're good to go. And that's how you place the rear shocks on your uh, Nissan pickups. And if not my mistaken, most pickups that have these leaf springs, pretty simple. All right, thanks guys, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Uh, keep up the comments, likes, any other suggestions, we'll just kind of toss it in the comments. Thanks, have a good day, peace.